Melody letters right here is my name, I-L-I. -I. That's Hi, everyone. So I went yesterday to Sephora and I saw this new product by Ilia. I'm not sure how new it is, but I haven't seen it before. It is the Ilia Liquid Powder Matte Eye Tint. And it comes in a lot of shades. Like I'm looking at the Sephora website. Uh, I only saw a couple in store. I picked mine up in the shade Dove. I actually swatched a couple on my hands and this one looked the best. I really loved it. And this retails for, it's quite expensive. It's $37 Canadian. So that's uh, 28 US on the Sephora US website. And it comes into 16 shades, I believe. Yes, 16 shades. I think that this has been on the market for a while, but I see that they came up with 10 new shades and the shade Dove is one of the new ones. So they did have some metallic finish ones uh, in uh, stock before, but now they came up with 10 new ones, two more metallic and eight more matte. This is a matte finish and I love the shade so much. I love the packaging. This product is a vegan, it is gluten-free, the packaging is a recyclable packaging and it's also cruelty-free. It's a matte powdered cream eyeshadow that is supposed to be non-creasing. The horse chestnut flower helps to visibly smooth and firm the appearance of the delicate skin. And this is a clean cream to powder eyeshadow that dries down to a crease resistant finish in a matte or metallic shade. Now I bought mine a matte shade. I have my face done so I'm gonna just prime my eyes and we're gonna test this out today. This is what the product looks like. It is so pretty. Look at that, the packaging. So let me compare it in size to a Kosas concealer so you guys can have an idea how big it is. It's a liquid eyeshadow and this is made in Italy. So I'm excited to try it out. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. Like here is the doe food applicator. It's a nice clear see-through plastic with a nice wand Ooh, and the shade is just stunning. Look at that. It's like a nice grayish purple. Let's blend it out. Now the thing with this product is you can apply it with your finger. Isn't that pretty? So you can apply it with your finger or you can apply it with a brush. But the trick is you have to work one eye at a time because it's supposed to, it, apparently the formula dries fast. So we're gonna test it out and see how, it, um, how it's gonna look. So let's apply. I'm gonna apply on my lips if you guys were wondering is my Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in the shade lay down the mauves which is this one and i've uh, combined it with my lip glow oil by dior in the shade rosewood so i love this combo but let's go ahead i'm gonna prime my eyelids with my mac paint pot in the shade soft ochre and i'm gonna use my finger okay so i'm scared but this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna apply it i'm gonna do one eye at a time and i'm gonna do maybe Let's do one eye with the finger and see how it's going to look. And then I'm going to use some brushes on the other eye. And I think after I apply it, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath statuesque eyeshadow kind of in the crease. But I'm going to apply this after. I want to see how this performs. So let's go ahead and start. Ooh. It doesn't have a smell or anything, so let's work fast with this. So I'm gonna use my finger now and pat it down. So again, you can uh, build it up. Oh, you have enough time to work with it for sure. There's no rush. 
So that looks with one layer and with the finger. It says you can apply another layer to build up the color, but wait in between so that it dries. You don't apply it wet on wet. Isn't that a nice neutral grayish purple? I love the color. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply a little bit more to intensify the color. So this looks nice. You can see the fingerprint where you apply the second layer, so be careful with that. Now I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and kinda spread it into the crease here. Um, yeah, that dries pretty fast, so it's gonna become crumbly if you don't work fast. Now let's go ahead and use the other eye and use a brush. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use a Tarte brush and pat it down. Oh yeah, I definitely, so far, I'm liking it with a brush more. So the trick is to just pat down and don't drag. Yeah, so this eyelid looks a little bit more dry and crumbly and this eyelid looks a little bit more creamy. So let's wait till it dries down a bit. Then we're gonna apply another layer and pat it down. Okay, so the trick is, especially when you apply a second layer, to pat it down and not drag, otherwise you'll see crumbling. Okay, so you can see it is more intense with a brush than with a finger. So let me zoom you in so you can see a bit better. So, it's, I like it. I, I really love the color. I think it's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix this eye. Just add a tiny bit more here and then up, use it with a brush because we want to have the same intense color on both eyes. Oh, this is really pretty. I love the shade. I really, really wanted the shade when I saw it. So let's let the eyes dry up and work on the bottom eyes now. So I think for the bottom, I'm going to use the same because I really like this color. So I'm going to use a brush like this and do the bottom lash line, see how it looks. Oh yeah, this looks so, so nice. You can also use this if you don't wanna use it as an all over the eye. You can use it just as a um, kind of underneath the lash line to give you that little nice soft purple, grayish type of color. Okay, so what I'm gonna use now, I'm gonna use that Pat McGrath. It's like a soft brown type of shade to kind of create a nice transition and blend it nicely up here. So for that, I'm gonna use a Natasha Denona mini brush. It came in one of her um, palettes. And I'm just gonna create this transition here. I love this brush, I wish it was a tiny bit bigger. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna create a nice wing and apply some mascara and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts. But first, let me give you a close up on what it looks like. I'll tell you my final thoughts, but here's a close up for you guys to see before I apply the liner. Okay, so this is what the Ilia Powder Matte Liquid Eyeshadow looks like on the eyes. What do you guys think? It's okay, it looks beautiful, the shade is pretty, it's just very, I don't know, it looks very close up, it looks a little bit crumbly, but like I said, I'm going to test it out more and see. And there's Kona sitting right here too, hi! <laughs> so I wanted to show you how this one looks in the sunlight as well, and in natural light, and... 
yeah, I don't know. I'm going to keep testing it. So stay tuned for that. So I am not feeling the um, eyeshadow on my eye. Like it doesn't feel dry or crumbly. From the distance, it looks so beautiful and the shade is just perfect. I just love it. But if you look up really, really, really up close and in detail, you can clearly see that it is a little bit cement-like type of um, look on the eye like you can see the cracks in there and it looks a little bit drying now that's maybe because I've applied two coats so maybe next time I'll apply one coat so I will keep testing it but it looks beautiful underneath the lash line so keep that in mind so let me get off camera and finish the eyes and I'll be right back with final thoughts Okay, so final thoughts here. I just applied my eyeliner and my mascara. For eyeliner, I've used the AMC Eyeliner Gel. So, and for mascara, I've applied my Essence Lash Mascara. Now, final thoughts. As I was applying the eyeliner, don't know, don't know, I don't know what to say. Okay, so this product, like, I don't want to be uh, come across rude. Okay, I like it, but I don't love it. I love the shade and I love how it looks on the bottom lash line and I think that's how I'm going to use this mostly on the bottom lash line uh, when you spread your eyes open like this you can see kind of like cement cracks on the eyelid it is not a um, it's a very drying formula so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try apply it next time just apply one layer instead of two use a brush but i have a feeling that this product is probably best to use it um, underneath the lash line if you love the shades that they came out with and i love the shade so much i love this gray purple it's the shade dove i i'm going to use this underneath my lash line a lot with a nice nude eye look or any type of eye look that you can create with your own eyeshadows and use this underneath the lash line it looks beautiful now i don't think this is worth 37 canadian or 28 us dollars just to be able to use it underneath the lash line only this is meant to be used as an eyeshadow maybe once in a while i'll continue trying it as an eyeshadow it looks really beautiful from the distance i'm gonna try bring you in closer and see how the eyes look mm, what happened here yeah okay so I don't know if the camera picks up the um, dryness of the eyelid. It looks really beautiful. It just, you know, when I look at it, but when I bring it really up close, I do see the dryness of the eyelid. But, you know, that's kind of my opinion. Maybe my eyelids are dry. Maybe this works better on oily eyelids or you know more hydrating eyelids maybe i need to hydrate my eyelids before applying a uh, maybe i'm not even supposed to apply a eye primer so maybe next time i'm going to like i'm not gonna finalize my thoughts yet i want to give it more chances and i think next time i'm gonna probably uh use one layer i'm gonna try it that way and with a primer eye primer and I'm also going to try this without an eye primer and see how it goes on a um, clear eyelid without the eye primer. Maybe, maybe that works better. Maybe the eye primer is drying it even more. So those are my thoughts, my first impression thoughts. So I'm going to keep playing with this and let you know later on how I feel. And yeah, that's kind of what I think about it. So 
if it continues to act the way it is acting now even after trying all the other techniques then probably it's not good to spend so much money on it just to use it under lash line underneath your lash line here but because i already bought it if it's gonna work or not work i will definitely continue using it underneath the lash line because there it doesn't look drying at all and maybe there i don't even have a eye primer so maybe maybe the eye primer dried it more okay so let's leave it at that for now but those are my final thoughts on this product um let me know what you guys think do you guys own this product or any other shades maybe the shimmery ones are better this is a full matte uh, it's supposed to be non-creasing so you know let me know your thoughts down below if you have tried this product i love Elia, and i want to try more products by Elia. The first um, three letters right here is my name, I-L-I. -I. That's how some people call me, Ili, instead of Ilinka. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And if it was helpful, let me know and like this video. If you are new to my channel and enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe down below. It would help me out so much. I wish you a wonderful day. Make sure you check out my next videos at the end of this video that I'm going to put. And always remember to be yourself. And I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.